actors with Rosamund Pike and David Oyelo. They star in what's being called the most romantic film of the year, A United Kingdom. It's a true story about a forbidden romance between an office worker from London and the future king of Botswana. Please welcome them both here to Good Morning America. Rosamund, David, great to see you. How are you feeling? I know you were a little bit under the weather. Oh, Thanks for being a trooper. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this was such a passion project for you, Dave. Yeah, I it mean, was. this is something that you've worked on for years to make it happen. How were you able to convince this woman to work with you again for this? Um, it, it was difficult, actually, because the last film we did together in Jack Reacher, <laughs> I actually tased her yes. in a lift. Yeah. Um, While so, I was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. So it, it only made sense to apologize with a love story. Um, <laughs> so, I, so I called her up and she said yes. And you saw a photo and you knew this was something that you yes, needed to David do. Yes, David sent me some pictures of the real life couple and all he said was this is arguably the greatest love story of the 20th century and then he sent me photographs of Ruth Williams and Saretsa Karma and I didn't know who they were mm -hmm. and I looked at these faces and I started to cry. I don't know what it was, something touched me which continued to touch me all through the making of the movie. And it that's was, what uh, people are going to feel when they're watching this film. I mean, when I look back and I see this picture that this is what people are seeing, it, it was like you all were meant to play this role together. And you knew this woman was the one to I play. I did, it. I did. Well, I, you know, I've been a fan of Rosamund's for yeah. a while. She's such an enigmatic actress. You <laughs> never really know what a Rosamund Pike performance is going to be. And that's what I felt we needed with this. You know, this prince falls in love with this woman who he just cannot resist. and. Uh, she embodies that. Yeah, so let's, you want to take a look? Does everybody want to see a little <laughs> yeah. bit of this? Yeah. Okay, this is a moment when you propose. Thinking about my responsibilities back home in Botswana land. There is so much that I need to do there. But I know that I will never achieve anything worthwhile if I leave my heart here. It's, it's universal. It's one of those things that's going to resonate with so many people. And your real wife, Jessica, you're in the film again. She's with you again. Yes, yeah, she is. But but uh, in real life, we're very in love. In the film, she plays a racist. Um, <laughs> and, and she does it a little too well for my liking, actually. <laughs> yeah. She has to look at us in disgust as we uh, hold hands. Uh, yes. And, yeah. Well, there was no acting. Funny. No, no, no. no. <laughs> there, was, there, 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 was, there was sheer disgust. Yeah. Yes. And the wonderful director that you all please tell yeah. people about her yeah Amber Asante is a, a director of this film who's and it's just so great to have a story told from her perspective to have yeah. this story because she she sort of bridges so many elements of the story she's of Ghanaian descent mm -hmm. and she's English she's born in Britain um, she, she's a woman um, I think it, it really sort of added layers to the story that we wouldn't have had if someone else had directed it yeah and if anyone who saw her film Belle would know that she's mm -hmm. a, a, an extraordinary director so that's partly why I we really wanted her for this. And I love the romance of you two dancing. Oh dancing. Gosh, we love dancing. Did you? I'm so bad and I love it so much. I just, <laughs> really David's bad. really good and he just kind of she makes keeps me... keeps on the saying she's, she's but she was a wonderful dance partner. We had so much fun doing it. Oh, well, those were some of my really lovely scenes. I mean, there's so much... I think anyone so playing lovers should learn yeah. to dance together because, mm. you know, you just sort of... It just makes everything feel easier and... Well, it's an easy, easy watch. And I know this is the Oscar luncheon today. Two years ago, Gone Girl, you were nominated. Last year, Selma, the film that you starred in, was nominated. Um, so you know the feeling of everybody there? In, in yes, I mean, unbelievable numbers of people there. It really is quite daunting and, and awe-inspiring because you really feel part of the history of the Academy, and it's in a, in a very interesting, quite humbling way. Mm. Um, but... Um, I was on my own, actually, because nobody else from Congo was nominated, so it was a slightly lonely experience. <laughs> well, but, you're, um, you're in good company now. Yes. Yeah, you're yeah, going to be fine. Well, <laughs> wonderful to see you, too, and you're magic on the screen, David. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely Thank magic. You. Uh, a United Kingdom opens nationwide on Friday, perfect right before Valentine's Day.